Matt Damon has been a prominent figure in Hollywood for decades, known for his roles in movies like Good Will Hunting, The Bourne Identity and The Martian. As a 27-year-old, he still showed no signs of hair loss as seen in the movie Good Will Hunting. And as he aged, Damon, like many men, began experiencing noticeable hair thinning and hair loss, a condition that became evident during public appearances and red carpet events in the 2010s. Or his 2010 action movie The Green Zone. And in case this thriller wasn't captivating enough for some of you, I'm sure you would have been able to notice his first signs of hairline recession, or better said, a mixture of receding hairline and diffuse thinning in the frontal third. And despite his iconic status, Damon remained relatively private about his hair loss as most of the celebrities, and while he never openly discussed it, fans and the media often speculated about his changing hairline. This started to become even more noticeable between 2015 and 2020. In recent years, probably 2020, Damon appeared to have undergone a hair transplant, a procedure that has been increasingly popular among people and celebrities dealing with hair loss. Observers noticed a subtle but distinct improvement in his hairline and temples, suggesting that he may have opted for the surgery to regain a fuller look. While Damon hasn't confirmed undergoing a hair transplant, the change in his hair density has been noted by fans and hair loss experts alike. The results appear natural, enhancing his overall look without being overly dramatic. The most obvious changes in my opinion that stand out are sharper looking temporal regions that have been slightly moved forward and strengthened overall, and create a seamless transition from the hairline into the temporal regions. Matt Damon will likely undergo another hair transplant in the future as his midsection seems to be also affected by diffuse thinning. He might be on finasteride as well in order to slow down the hair miniaturization in these regions and get a better blending effect between his native hair and transplanted hair in the front. This hair restoration actually reminds me the one James Franco has done in the past in terms of the overall change in the facial appearance before versus after. And although Franco's hair is slightly thicker and it also has a curl to it, the transplanted hair density used with both of them was similar in my estimation. If you want to learn more about how good of a candidate for a hair transplant you are, where you rank compared to other candidates, and ultimately learn how you can avoid regretting a hair transplant like it was the case with Joe Rogan or Volkan Ozdemir, check out my best hair transplant eligibility checker. It's a video which I'm gonna link in the video video description below. Suitability indicators. Number one, donor hair density per square centimeter. Now, patients who are interested in temporal hair restoration that is looking seamless and undetectable should do a thorough research and only undergo temporal hair restoration with experienced doctor who actually specialize in this part of restoration among hair restoration of other scalp sections. Damon's transformation serves as an inspiration to many who face similar issues, showing that addressing hair loss through medical procedures can be a viable option. His quiet approach to the topic also highlights that hair loss and treatments like transplants are personal choices and there is no shame in taking steps to feel more confident about one's appearance. As a result, Damon continues to look his best on screen and off, embracing a new chapter in his public image with subtle sophistication. If you want to know more about how I can help you out one-on-one -on -one with finding the right hair transplant clinic for your expectations, hair type and budget, check out the link in the video description where you can book a personal consultation with me so I can not only assist you in person and help you find the best doctor for you while saving you stress, money and time trying to figure all of this out on your own, but also give you an opportunity to speak with somebody who has already done many hair transplants and guided more than 2000 clients on the same path. I'm going to be looking forward to helping you out in person and thanks for watching. Until next time.